Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. Uh, pretty cool uh, day today. Um, we just hauled this home, so it's going to be a future project. It's fairly rare now. Um, this is a, a fiberglass body or shell, um, and this was called the Bradley GT. And they made them from, I think, 1970, and they went bankrupt around 80 or 81. Um, so there was a lots of these that were quite popular in the, I'd say, mid to late 70s. They had the Bradley GT, and then at some point, which I'm not familiar with, they came out with a, a Bradley GT2, which was a stretched version, a longer, bigger car. Um, some people you either love or hate this style. At lastchanceautorestore.com, we're known for uh, building tribute cars or custom cars. So it's based on a Volkswagen air-cooled chassis. We have our own chassis we've made that has four-wheel independent suspension and four-wheel disc brakes. We also have different engine or driveline options. So this is going to give us another option in terms of a body style. Um, so on the Bradley GT, what I really don't care for personally, and this is my just opinion, is these headlight pods. They made them so large compared to the rest of the car. It just to me, it doesn't seem proportionate. So we're going to modify and change uh, we work on a lot of Corvettes and, and fiberglass uh, cars, so we're going to modify and change this because we don't. I don't really care for the front end too much. And we'll probably give the lines a little bit different look, but they're kind of a neat car. Um, so this one has been um, pre-assembled because this top roof section is molded separately to the body, and somebody's went ahead and installed uh, the frame and pop riveted it on. It's been inside a barn up in the rafters for roughly 20-ish years. So it's somebody has tried to start working on it at some point because they've got some old uh, voodoo gauges installed. They try to do a little bit of venting, it looks like, where they've got some holes uh, cut out for some, uh, some venting, which those of you in the Volkswagen air-cooled world are aware there's not a whole lot of uh, air that comes from the, uh, from the engine. But it's kind of a neat style. Uh, we're not going to go with the identical style of this. It's missing the rear panel. There's like a filler panel they have in there that covers the engine. Um, and there's some body damage here. Um, but we're very familiar with, with working with fiberglass. So we'll, um, we're probably going to change a few of the body lines anyway. Um, but the bones or the structure is all there. So this is uh, newer than 70 because some of the first uh, earlier um, Bradley's from what I understand they were straight and then the flare came out part way through production um, so then you can do a lot with wheels we're probably going to change this profile a little bit but just kind of a uh, these are kind of neat there was a, a fellow that called and said there was one up in the rafters we'd be interested in buying it one of the things I like about it is is some of the body lines are nice and we can tweak the part of the body lines that we don't care for as much um, and we're probably going to do a different engine just to, to show what we can do with chassis and, and that sort of thing. Um, but pretty rare now. There's not too many. We're in Ontario, Canada, and there's not too many of these um, around. So it's just something kind of fun that we'll be dealing with. Um, and I think that's about it for now. So it's uh, just a, a fiberglass shell for a, a Volkswagen air-cooled originally. And it's uh, from 70 to roughly 80. So it's a, a Bradley GT body. And uh, someday when we get on to it, we'll, uh, we'll share with you an updated project on it. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoStore.com.